I'm fishing today just a tiny little stream that someone told me about. It's, I mean, here it's about one foot wide. It widens to about two, maybe three feet wide up higher. This over here is one of the wider sections and then right in through here, I mean, it is just super, super thin. I've never fished it, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, let's start. Gonna start in the super skinny and thin part and then work my way upstream. Oh, wow. That set my heart pumping. Wow, that was wild. It took me a few casts to land the fly where I wanted it. In that literally one foot wide or nine inch wide section right there. And as soon as the fly got where I wanted it to be, bam, fish came up, went after it. There we go. There we go. Wow. Oh my gosh, that was a huge trout. Guys, that was... I mean, that must have been like... a 14 inch trout? In this tiny creek? Again. My heart is racing. Got one. Smaller. And there we have it. I mean, smaller, but still surprisingly large. <laughs> what the heck? That's an 11 or 12 inch brown trout. And I wanted to come to this creek because A, it looked cool. And then the person who told me about it said that there were brown trout in here. And I don't catch brown trout too often. I'm in Idaho and I, I know where to go to catch them if I want to. But in general, I don't catch many brown trout. And so that intrigued me. And sure enough, that's a giant brown trout. Beauty. Look at that beast. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I mean, that first one I, I had on was just... It was definitely bigger than that one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just expecting a giant to come out from underneath these overhanging undercut banks. Give me an 18-incher. Give me a 16-incher. I bet they're in here. Creek is testing my casting accuracy abilities, which are not great. It's okay now that the wind has died down a little bit. When I first started just a few minutes ago, it was actually pretty windy, which made casting accurately into a into this, you know, one foot wide stream a little bit difficult. I have an eleven foot line on here on my Mizuchi. which feels long for this creek, but I mean, it's such clear water that uh, I don't think it's a bad idea. There's a fish. Oh, it came up instantly. It's fun being able to see the fish come up too, because I know exactly where the fly is and the water is clear enough that I can definitely see what they're doing. Yeah, this is literally one foot wide. Oh, huge fish, huge fish, guys. And that's a rainbow. Oh my gosh, did you see that? That was a big fish. It came off, the fly came off too. I mean, that was a 16 to 18 incher. Whoa, this is a micro creek, just 
full of giants. I need to land one. I don't care if I lose a few of them, but I'd like to land one of those big ones today. Okay, I put a shorter line on here. I had an 11 foot line on here. I just put a nine foot line on here. Might be a little bit easier and faster to net the fish. I'm still in shock from that last fish that I hooked. Oh, huge fish. Guys, that's like a, that was like an 18 or even 20 inch. I'm, I'm not kidding. Got it. Oh my gosh. I've got a dragon. Oh my gosh, guys, guys. How do I fight this thing in here? This is a giant brown trout and it's off. Do you see that thing? Do you see that? That was a, an 18 or 20 inch, just cut my fly right off. That was an 18 or 20 inch brown trout. I'm not kidding. That was, I mean, that must've been 20 inches. I don't know how to land a giant fish like that in a creek this tiny. There's no room to, to fight the fish. I just have to go where the fish takes me. That is wild. Rest assured, if I don't catch one of those giant trout today, I will be back to this creek. And I will catch one of those at some point. Mark my words. That first giant fish I hooked into was a rainbow trout. That second one was a brown trout. Man, that is just... I mean, I'm speechless. That is... These are such big fish. Now this rod... I know this rod can handle big fish. I'm not worried about that. I think that's where the Mizuchi really shines. I've caught 18 inch trout on this rod. I think it's unique in short tenkara rods, small tenkara rods, in that it's it's a pretty beefy rod. That's why it's not great if you're gonna catch like three inch brook trout. But if you're going after 18 or 20 inchers on a tiny creek, then it's perfect. I'm approaching this section very slowly. Got one. Oh, even the small ones I can't catch on this creek. Apart from that, that one. Got one. Oh, I thought I had it. I saw the fish. Go grab it. I'm not doing great on this creek, guys. This is a, a difficult little creek to fish. Got one. Oh, darn it. Had one. It was like a four or five incher, but that would have been great. <sighs> Got one. Let's bring it downstream here. It's no 20 incher. Whoa! I just fell into deep water, but it is a brown trout. Awesome, okay, well, feels good to have caught another fish. It's been a while. Oh, 
Oh! I had a fish on and I just wasn't paying attention. Serves me right. Got one. And he came off. Oh, geez. Well, fishing has been tough. I've landed, I think, two and missed just a bunch. Big ones, small ones, I've missed them all. I'm running short on time. I'm gonna hike back to my car and I'm going to fish again that earliest section. That was the section with the biggest fish. And even if I don't catch those big ones, there were still, you know, 10, 12 inchers over there that uh, would make for a good consolation prize. So let's go back to the beginning and try that. Well, didn't catch anything else and I didn't catch anything big, but I will be back.